So welcome ladies and gentlemen back today with uh, Become a Legend as we continue here in December, late December, with uh, Sasquatch the big man. It hasn't been going, you know, too great. Let's be honest, it's been pretty tough to score goals. I think I'm going to crank the time up to, uh, let's do 10 minute matches. Obviously I'll show you guys just the highlights, but it, it's not really happening as of yet. We're having a nightmare. We are bottom uh, with Leicester City. Currently lying in 19th place, but we are playing today against Tottenham Hotspur. I'm not expecting uh, too much to happen here. King is up for it, and uh, Macdo and Arto are up for it, so that's good to see. But uh, yeah, we'll see how we do. Playing an attacking midfield as always, which isn't really my favourite position, especially when you're six foot nine and you want to be in there for the headers. But anyway, let's dive into the game uh, against Tottenham. Turns nicely. Feeds this out wide, continues to run forward. Now he's going to get into the box because that's generally what Bournemouth have to do and they haven't been doing it enough, to be honest, throughout the season. Oof, Sasquatch nearly stole it. It's a good challenge. He's done well. Trying to play an intricate give and go. Good feet by the big man. Starting again. Tottenham all over the place, Sasquatch is uh, with a chance, deflected away. Good play by Bournemouth. Cutting inside, Sun. A good challenge on him. Sasquatch is uh, calling for it. Finds it, gets a second go at it. Oh, it's a late challenge by Bentaleb. And the big man stayed down here, clutching his ankle. And it is going to be a booking. Well, it was a little bit naughty. We have a look here. Just takes a touch away from him. Takes him down. But he does need support. And he overran it in the end. Didn't have any options there. Bournemouth players were trying to catch up with him. Just needed to hold it up for a little bit longer. Ericsson, Sun, Chadley. Nicely done by Tottenham. Beautiful, but that heavy touch. Well, the keeper decided to stay. It should have come out. And Bournemouth trail by a goal to nil. I've no idea what the goalie was doing. Just standing on his line and invited Sun to just slot it home. Yeah, better chances, really. I mean, they didn't have too many chances, but better bit of play than Tottenham. That's great play by Sasquatch. Feeding it out wide. Another big man. Trying to get in the box. Delivered in towards that near post. That's what they need to do. Playing it square. Sasquatch again. Can't maintain the ball. Ericsson trying to feed it out wide. Ball's ricocheting all over the place. Nicely done by Tottenham. Here comes Chadley. If he can lay it through the middle. Well, oh, Bentaleb is there! And he should have scored. There he is now. He hasn't had a bad game. Really hasn't, to be honest. He's tried to do things now and then. Sometimes he's just not given the right passes. Bournemouth type of team that really just need to whip the ball in from crosses. And at the moment, it isn't happening. That's a late challenge by him. He won't care. Probably his final touch of the game before he comes off. Well, look at the size of that giant. Absolute beast. Carl Walker, Sun, taking it out wide, trying to cut back inside, another long ball forward, better from Bournemouth, just get it out, don't waste time, clear it when you can, this was good to get there, Sun, Debele, Sun, beautiful, Chadley, magical football, and there's number two, well that's pinpoint, and that's emphatic by Tottenham. So Sasquatch is being replaced by Gosling. Towards Ericsson, long searching pass over the top. Here's McDonald, final few seconds remain. Well there it is, the full time whistle here, Tottenham 2, Bournemouth 0. 
And Bournemouth continue to slump at the bottom of the table. There it is, seven shots to one. Sun finishing on a seven. We finished on a six. Wasn't too bad. So Tottenham actually top of the table. They continue there. Chelsea second. United up to third. Actually, look how many points. How many teams are on 33 points there? Five teams. Third through seventh. And obviously Bournemouth still. Only one win so far this season. And there is the big man. He's getting paid 250 grand. It's not too bad. Definitely live off that. But we just uh, we need to play a little bit better. So we are in the starting lineup. What I'm going to do, um, I'm going to change my training regimen right here. So let's let's just get rid of everything and we'll redo it. Because, well, I want to go physicality. We need to get that up. We have to get that up. Shooting and passing is okay, probably. I think I need to get my dribbling up a little bit more. Defense, I'm not worried about. Stamina, obviously, we could do with that. Speed can maybe go to two. And passing up, and shooting up. I think, yeah, I mean, I want to be a dribbler, obviously, and shooting is key. I think we'll go for that. Shooting and passing, actually, no, let's do dribbling more than passing. Shooting up there. Physical, yes. Yeah. Speed a little bit and stamina three. I think that's pretty good. We'll go with that. So this is the side that we're coming up against there. Sunderland playing a 4-3-3. Pretty attacking for them. Uh, top of the man up top. Lens on the wings with Gooch. So, I mean, it may be difficult today with them playing three in the middle of the park to get the ball. We'll see how we do. Obviously, we're playing the same positions as we normally do. Attacking midfield. But let's get into the game and uh, see how we do. So the rain actually coming down today. It's going to make conditions pretty slippery, pretty wet. Sunderland lying in 10th. Bournemouth still with only one win this season. Down in 20th. So Bournemouth get us underway. Sasquatch starting for the second consecutive game. Still trying to find a bit of a groove. It's been hard work for him. It's been hard work for the whole side, really. The way things have panned out. It's a nice little flick inside, though, by the big man. So he's now trying to work on different things in training. See if that helps his game. Well, nearly found it out wide. That's what they do want. It's nicely worked. Sasquatch, great turn by the big man. Can he get it back? Yes, he can, but it just took a little bit of a touch made it fall kindly for Pantillamont. He has actually lost it there. He went for the volley. But Pantillamont is a, a giant. Not quite as big as Bigfoot, but still quite large. And here is Lenz. Through on goal for Sunderland. Good bit of defending. And if Bournemouth are going to want to change things, they're going to have to start winning their home games. Or trying to get something from their home games. That's the key. Nice football this by Bournemouth. Sasquatch calling for it. Can he find him? Kabul is quicker than him. A bit of pressure though. Oh, it's fallen nicely. It's going to be Sasquatch. He made the save. Sasquatch again. And Pantillamon can't be beaten. Well, that is the best chance they're going to get all game probably. And he probably should have scored. It was on his weaker foot. Tried to place it. It's a good save with his feet. It came back out towards the big man. It was big man versus big man. And the big man came out on top. Cuts back inside. Delivers this one in towards the back post. Gooch wins the header. Jones finds Larson. Oh, Sasquatch. Sasquatch nearly got there. Bridka, Gooch, Larson. That's the kind of football that Sunderland love to play every now and then. Larson, Tavernan, beautiful goal. Not much you can do with give and goes and interplay like that. And Sunderland, the difference is they can take their chances. Here is Sasquatch bundled to the floor. And that's why he's working on his physicality a little bit more in training because right now. Just getting bundled off the ball a little bit too easy for a guy that's enormous. 
has got some good feet though. Here he is now trying to make a run through the middle. And they have seen him. Here is Sasquatch. Can he score this time? Pantillamon yet again. Oh, what a save. Took this in his stride beautifully. Went for the near post. Thought it was in. That's a great stop. Just trying to keep it simple. Just trying to make those runs through the middle. They can't find him. And they have found him numerous times. He's in on goal. All over the top's a good one. Sasquatch going to make his way into the mix. How's the delivery? It is towards Sasquatch. He does win the header. But he couldn't quite get the power on it that he wanted. I think Sasquatch has had more chances in this game than he has had all season, to be honest. He's getting uh, himself in the good positions, the right positions. It's a good sign. Now the finishing needs to come into play. Oh, that's a ball and a half. He is through on goal. But he just couldn't quite get it out of his feet. The pace there was lacking. And that is going to be the end of it. And I'm not sure why. I mean, come on. <laughs> Created so many chances. I know I've missed some, but unbelievable. Comes off. They'll probably go and score one right now to rub it in the wounds we've had so many chances we have been there we've created them King's actually put one in it is 1-1 finally it's a little bit of a slap in the face so all square 25 minutes on the clock it's just the finishing I mean we don't have the best stats at the moment and of course it's going to take a bit of time to get those up once that clicks we will put away those types of chances Maybe uh, try a little bit of manual shot now and then just to get some more venom in there, a bit more power. Good play by Sunderland. Rodwell! That's a fantastic strike. Great goal. Now we're trailing again. Challenged by Bridcup yet again. He's had a good, good game in the middle of the park. Three minutes of stoppage time to be played. Sunderland will just try and keep possession now. Waste a bit of time. Job done for them. Currently lying in 10th. And there it is, so Bournemouth 1, Sunderland 2, and Bournemouth honestly had the better of the chances, there it is, 7 shots to 5, or 7 shots to 6, couldn't get it done, finished on a 6 there itself, and Tillemont, look at that, I mean he's man of the match, sums it up really, sums it up. So Tottenham did win again, I mean they're playing well, 7 points clear at Chelsea. Liverpool, City and Swansea all advancing up. United lost their game. And Sunderland remain 10th. And we are now six points behind West Brom. Seven points off safety. Now let's have a look. I mean, this is the problem we have here. Finishing's only a 70. It's not great. Dribbling, I mean, dribbling isn't bad. It's a 78. The speed I'm not too worried about right now. It is a balance. You know, it's a 77. We need to get that up there more. I want to be a real solid player. So, the opening day of the transfer window is upon us. Do we request a transfer? Maybe. The transfer window opens today. I'll let you know if you receive any offers. Here's hoping it's an exciting window for you. Bournemouth made it clear to me that they want to hold on to you. They're offering decent money, but I'd be inclined to hold off for something better uh, if I were you. Make sure to choose wisely. Now, oh, let's go in here. Someone said try and get to, like, lay on because they play sort of... A good formation we'll try <laughs> we'll see I mean we know I don't think we're ever gonna get to to play for Leon uh, probably a little bit too good for us but hey we'll, we'll, we'll try it out we'll see what happens we'll advance the time here see if they come back I mean I'm not playing much anyway I'm only playing an hour each match and then it's you know take you off go and have a bath my son that's what's happening you're not on the squad today it's time for you to focus on making sure you're ready for the next match okay do okay so Let's see, looking forward to the match against Southampton. Well, I don't see us winning it. Let's just, uh, let's advance, see how we do. Okay, we lost 1-0 away from home. No surprise there. Tottenham, they drew their match. Man United won 4-0. So Tottenham remain top. Chelsea second. Still bottom of the pile, of course. 
So, plummeting along, negotiation day. Let's see what happened here. Sorry, but talks with Olympic Leon broke down. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen either way. Okay, let's have a look. I'm actually tempted to go to the championship. <laughs> Honestly, I'm quite tempted to play uh, in the championship. I want to have a look real quick at who's playing well, who's sort of top of the league. Maybe that'd be a good idea. Play the rest of the season in the championship. We'll see how we do. And we could possibly get some goals, get our stats up. You can see Hull City are dominating right now. So uh, let's let's try for them. Let's see if we can go to Hull. Actually, let me have a look at how they play. I don't know if you can do that. We'll see. We've got a Hull real quick. Game plan. Uh, they do play two up top. They play a 4-4-2, which is exactly what I want to play. So, yeah, let's go in here. Let's go transfer request. We'll go to Hull City. And we'll see if they want to snap me up. Because I'm fed up playing with Bournemouth. And the way things are going, we're going to be down in the... Uh, <laughs> we're going to be down in the championship soon anyway. So, we're not really too worried about it. So, World Player of the Year announcement. Who's it going to be? Messi, as always. Yes, there it is. Lionel Messi wins World Player of the Year. Congratulations, Lionel. Well done, mate. Fully deserved. Give it a good schmooch. Give it a good kiss. Looks like he's hiding behind the ball there. So, let's have a look at what Hull City have to say about possibly having us... Oh, come on. We can't even go to Hull City. Come on. That's pretty pretty embarrassing. Okay, well, let's have a look at Burnley. Because they're lying in second. They also play a 4-4-2, but I don't think I'm going to replace their forwards. We'll try it. We'll try for Burnley. See what they say. Come on, Burnley. Snap me up. I'm an absolute peach. You won't regret it. So up next, playing Newcastle United. You're not on the squad today. Okay, we're not playing again. Fair enough. So we lost 3-0 again. We are absolutely horrendous. Can't win a game to save our life. Tottenham remaining top, but Chelsea catching him up now. We are Nicolas. I mean, we're nine points off of safety. No way we're even going to stay up at this rate. Not even getting a play. Disheartening, disappointing to say everything else. So we are playing against Arsenal. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody knows what's going on, Gosling, mate, to be honest. It's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. Okay, so. Playing against the Gunners. So this is what we're coming up against. <laughs> it's going to be very, very hard work in this one. When we're playing, you know, they've got two defensive mids. So they've basically got four at the back there. It's going to be hard for us to break through. But uh, let's see how we do against the Gunners. Not sure what the goalie's doing there. Job done, though. Wasn't pretty. Starting again. Balls flicked on. Nicely worked. That's a good challenge by Murty Sackett. You don't often see him on the floor. That's watching once again. Picking it up. Playing it back. Looking for that give and go. Flicks on. That's oh, a great pass. Nicely worked by Bournemouth. But the flag was raised. You can see there just a fraction off. Watch. Nicely done. Sasquatch. Oh, he goes down. Penalty could have been given there. He certainly thought so. And then he tried some sort of a, a bicycle kick in midair there. Here's Debushi. Little Saka peeling away from him. Giving him an option. Chamberlain. Flamini. Nicely done. Bournemouth win it back yet again. Sasquatch now calling for it. There he is. Oh, he got a head onto it, but really, that's all he could do. 
Nothing more to direct it goalwards, but it's a great challenge by Sasquatch. Great pass, King! Well, Arsenal have been disappointing. They really have. They haven't had a chance on goal yet. Oh, Sasquatch is actually through there. But he decided to play it back for some reason. That's good play by Shadow. This could be their opening chance. Comfortable save. He's got good, two good hands on it. Sasquatch. He's looking for King. Didn't quite find him. Shalny. Murty Saka. Debushi. Chamberlain inside to find Flamini. He dinks it forward. Wins the flick on to find Debushi once more. Trying to look for Olivier Jedou. Really needs to be in the box not oh what a terrible bit of play and that really sums it up what on earth are you playing at I mean Sasquatch is a signal to the bench you might as well take me off you might as well take me off and I go get the haircut because it's not worth it what are you playing at yeah well he is coming off and uh, Arta will replace him Absolutely horrendous. What a way to concede a goal. Arsenal's first shot on goal. Oh, sorry, second shot on goal. And it was into an open net. And to keep it, just gave him a gift. A gift with a ribbon on top. Now Bournemouth with an uphill battle. Who knows how many games it would have been since their last 1-1. They've only won one all season. Rooted. To the bottom of the table. That's a great ball and it's a good save by Pedin. Definitely up for the game. Bournemouth crowding out Arsenal players. Five minutes to play. That's a good challenge by Gosling and Bournemouth have stolen one back. This time it's Arsenal with some shoddy defending. It will be the final corner of the game and it was nearly the winning goal. There's the full-time whistle. It's a good point for Bournemouth, to be fair. Away from home against Arsenal, who really didn't show up. Three shots to five. Man of the match was Gosling with a seven. But we played all right, to be fair. So Tottenham remain top, unchanged in the top three. United down to sixth, looking pretty, pretty uh, realistic there. And we are still <laughs> way, way down there. Too many draws. Eight draws we've had so far this season. Way too many. So let's have a look if Burnley would like to snap us up or have we been rejected yet again. No, it's not going to happen, is it? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like you're going to go to any team that's near the top of the table if you're in the championship. Let's have a look then. Let's have a look at who else we could go to. What about Middlesbrough or Leeds or Derby? Or Wolves, maybe. Uh, you know, let's have a look at QPR, actually. Let me have a look at QPR. I want to see what kind of a formation they play. If it would suit us. Let's go to game plan here. I mean, they only play one up top. And that's a problem. Let's have a look at Middlesbrough, then. They also play only one up top. Look at Leeds. They play three up top. That might work out. Three up top could be uh, pretty attacking. Let's try Leeds out then. Let's see what they say. Try out Leeds. They're not the greatest team in the world. But if it's regular football and I've got more chance of scoring in that division, I might as well go for it. Because at the moment, it's not happening at all. Well, up next is Crystal Palace. I'm going to end it there. Uh, actually, you know what? Considering we're going to skip this one, we'll skip this match. We're on the bench. I'm not worried about it. So we'll advance it. How do we do? We lost. We lost again. We lost again. Well done, boys. Looking brilliant at the moment. Tottenham still top, playing well. Well, they've lost five games. They've only drawn two. They've won a lot. Let's see if Leeds come back. And uh, no, they're not going to come back yet. 
So, up next is Leicester. Will we play? Yes, we will. So, we will be back for that in the next episode. We'll see if we can go anywhere else. Let me know if you guys have suggestions for, for a team that I could actually go to. Right now, it seems like I can't even get into a championship side. So, well, it's not going to be easy. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back shortly with more as we try to, uh, well, get on the score sheet and do something with this useless Bournemouth side at the moment. But until next time, take care.